So we all know that, well, we don't know for sure, but we're speculating, I'm speculating that Brian Kitty sold his GameStop stock to buy Chewy stock. We had Chewy. Well, anyways, he bought Chewy stock because unless he had some secret money stash lying around, he bought Chewy stock. And, you know, that means that at any time he could sell Chewy stock and he could buy any other company he wants. And I'm just saying that there's a lot of rich, there's a lot of people that have big money out there that, you know, maybe money similar to Roaring Kitties besides institutional investors. Like there must be some retail investors out there that have Roaring Kitty type of money that is willing to invest into businesses. And, um, you know, you know, high tide could be potential, you know, buy from one of the big rich people like, Ro like Roy and Kitty. Like he, he could sell a little bit of his Chewy stock and then he could buy into high tide, a profitable cash flowing business. Like he could sell you know, enough for like 10% stake into high tide or 20% stake into high tide, which is, you know, 38 million US dollars or 40 million US dollars, depending on the average you can get it at. But I'm just saying, that's all I'm, that's all I'm saying is high tide could easily, you know, rich people could easily put 10 by 10 or 20% stake into high tide company. I don't know if they will, but if high tide keeps executing, and they keep showing, you know, cash flow and continue revenue growth. I I think that you know, people will, uh, retail investors or rich people will look at High Tide and look how undervalued it is, and then maybe buy a ten percent stake or twenty percent stake in the future. I mean, that is a possibility. I'm not saying it will happen. I'm more in the speculation that High Tide will execute. And then move to Germany, get the hype, get the stock pumped up, do well in Germany, and then become, you know, a $20, $30 stock in the future. That's my hope. And then maybe move into the U.S. and be even bigger than that. But they will probably dilute along the way. Hopefully, they keep their dilution to, the, uh, to minimum and uh, dilute at, you know, higher prices like $10, $12, $13 and not... Not when it's a penny stock. Um, that's what I'm hoping. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. Um, yeah. Uh, the overall market today is slightly in the green. Um, yeah. That's all I really have to say. Oil starting to pump again. We'll see if this goes to 90. If it does, people are not going to be happy at the gas stations. Anyways, that's all I really have to say in this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.